If you're a leader who loves long meetings, bureaucracy, and slow results, don't watch this video. But if you want to minimize meetings, bash bureaucracy, and get results fast, watch this video to learn this straightforward strategy. If you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, uh, please put them in the comments below. I would appreciate that very much. Thanks. So I was originally going to call this episode summary execution because of the play on words, but you know, Google or the the algorithm doesn't necessarily like something that is witty. Plays on words don't necessarily algorithm well. Let's put it that way. So summary execution is what it sounds like. That is quickly get to the execution of your plan rather than planning to plan to plan to plan. So this summary execution model is about minimizing planning and maximizing execution of those plans to get results faster. Uh, once your team is clear on the specific, clear, concrete, well-defined destination, and each leader knows their roles, end the meeting and launch. Uh, you know, quit, quit messing around and pretending you can predict the future. Or, or, or please kill your belief that you can predict the future because you, you can't and you never could, though you may believe that you have in the past. It's, um, what's a nice word for it? Delusion. It's not true. Okay, so this does sound kind of simple though, right? Isn't it too simple? That's good. It, it should. It's supposed to sound simple because we tend to, especially in a larger bureaucratic organization, be too uptight. You can tell I'm very uptight by my what you'll see me wearing for the rest of the summer. Nice and cool and ecological, let's call this very cool biz, because I refuse to waste energy just to make uh, a superficial impression where my brain works far better, and so does yours when you're comfortable, rather than leaving uh, the business impression. So I hope you can live with that because that's the way it's going to be. So recently on LinkedIn, Adam Grant put this really, really well. Essentially what he said was, all you need to start a career is a compass. There is no roadmap. And I'm a big Adam Grant fan, not only because he aligns with my values. I don't just read his books and then do what he does. I disagree with him when I disagree but I really like what he has to say, and it fits with my beliefs and my values. So unless your project is more complex than an entire career, maybe the same philosophy can work for you. And it really can. And it's what you do essentially anyway, except you're spending a lot more time. Maybe not. I hope I'm wrong. And you're not spending a lot more time on this. But the bottom line is dump the meetings, go for the execution. Once each team has hit that, uh, once that destination, as I've already talked about, the roles are of each member on your, in the meeting, your team leaders know what their roles are. Each team can then take their specific, concrete, immediately actionable steps and execute on them. Executing on those steps, whatever they may be, gives you empirical results. Those results then give you a, a location with respect to your destination, which you will recheck and reorient if necessary. Then iterate all the way to the result, that end result you want. That's really it for this whole episode. It's really simple, but the truth is we cannot know what we do not know. So take your plan, put it into action as immediately as you can, regardless of the size of your organization. Get to your next destination. Of course, everything by minimize, I don't mean eliminate. You have a certain amount of minimum planning to do, but question continuously what that minimum is, because it's probably a less, a lot less than you think. Find your destination, 
make your sight line, bring out your compass, get a bearing and pull the trigger. That's it for Crush It Club number 103, how to get results faster. My name is Timby Green. Bye for now.